Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Razak has dismissed talk that Malaysia is being sold off to China following the signing of 144 billion ringgit in deals with the Republic. Najib said in a statement that the deals are investments in the Malaysian economy which will result in jobs, skills and improvements in the people's lives. Therefore, such talk is mere scaremongering, he said, calling the allegation absurd and absolutely false. The PM vowed that the infrastructure projects will remain owned by Malaysia and operated by Malaysians. But for the two countries' mutual benefit, Putrajaya has chosen to build these projects in partnership with China, just as Malaysian firms are in joint ventures in projects all over China. He adds that the agreements do not only help corporations, but the little guy as well, such as the thousands of swiftlet farmers and half a million oil palm smallholders in the country. The top US diplomat for East Asia, Daniel Russell, has reportedly admonished the Prime Minister for making remarks that made him sound a little bit more like his former patron, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. According to Reuters, Russell was commenting on an editorial piece by Najib, published recently in the China Daily newspaper. In this piece, the PM said that former colonial powers should not lecture nations they once exploited. The remarks are widely seen as a veiled attack on the West after the US Department of Justice linked a Malaysian official one to money stolen from 1MDB. However, Russell also said he did not see evidence of a tilt towards China, saying that the purchases are merely a commercial deal, nothing more. China's richest man and e-commerce tycoon Jack Ma is now Malaysia's digital economy advisor. Ma is of course the executive chairman and founder of Alibaba Group, one of the world's largest internet-based businesses. He will come to Malaysia to attend the launch of the country's digital free trade zone in March 2017. The digital economy is said to account for 16% of Malaysia's GDP. Malaysia Airlines is expanding its China offerings as it attempts to repair the damage caused post MH370. Speaking in Beijing today, Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Razak announced that beginning early 2017, the national carrier will serve 8 new destinations and 11 new routes with 35 additional frequencies between Malaysia and China. The 8 new destinations are Haiku, Nanjing, Fuchao, Wuhan, Chengdu, Chongjin, Tianjin and Shenzhen. CEO Peter Bellew said this is in line with MAB's ambition to triple its business in China over the next five years. He also sees the potential to operate direct flights to 20 cities in China from Kuala Lumpur, Penang, Kota Kinabalu and Fuching by 2019. The carrier will also add a second daily flight between Kuala Lumpur and Shanghai, subject to available slots in April 2017. This follows the airline's recent announcement on the service upgrade to its morning Kuala Lumpur Hong Kong sector from the Boeing 737 to the Airbus 330. Hong Leong Financial Group Berhad or HLFG and its unit HLA Holdings Berhad have called off talks to sell HLA's holding stake in the group's insurance and takaful businesses. In a filing with Bursa this evening, HLFG said the two parties could not reach an acceptable commercial agreement with the Bank Negara approved negotiating companies. And so it's off the table. HLFG was looking to sell a stake in life insurer Hong Leong Assurance Berhad and Islamic insurer Hong Leong MSIG Takaful Berhad. HLA Holdings owns a 70% stake in Hong Leong Assurance and 65% in Hong Leong MSIG. The rest of the stakes in both companies are held by Japan's Mitsui Sumitomo Insurance Co. Its insurance businesses contribute less than 10% of its annual earnings. <laughs>